guys are playing at a high level right now, higher than we've ever seen them before. What's been the difference these past two games versus the previous two years? I think it's a materialization of his work, you know, and, and time. Uh, you know, how he's broken his game down, how he's just attacked the process and, and uh, you know, just kind of how he's uh, continued to improve. I mean, it's, it's him out on Friday morning before we leave to go to TCU, getting a 30 minute throwing workout in on his own, you know, and if there's one of those, there's a hundred and, and uh, you know, he's, he's developed true confidence. He's always been an extremely smart player. So, uh, you know, just it's been so fun to watch him continue to develop and then obviously be able to perform and, and do what, you know, we've always known he was capable of. Any uh, chance you're going to tell us who you're starting that quarterback? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's going to be <clears throat> about the same as it's been. You know, it's a both of them have, have been able to practice this week and, um, you know, it'll be a game time decision again. And, and uh, again, credit to both of those guys, how they prepare and, uh, you know, I feel and am at complete peace with, you know, however it ends up going. You said they've both been able to practice. Has Adrian been a full participant in practice all week? Yeah. No, he's practiced well and, and uh, is progressing well. Colin, when you get fourth and five on the opening drive against Oklahoma State and you get the false start to go fourth and ten, is that you kind of telling Coach Kleiman you want to go for it or is that him <laughs> saying we're going to go for it? Well, we knew we were in that area of the field that there's just, you know, there's not any easy answers, you know, and it was, uh, we knew we were going to go for it, um, you know, and, and knew we were obviously, you know, we were out of field goal range. So um, obviously switched up the call a little bit, but it, but it worked out and credit Will and Cade making a heck of a play. Colin, for young quarterbacks, how long does it take to understand the timing of everything going on around them? This guy's coming at me wearing the wrong color jersey. I've got this long to throw it. Yeah, he threw Philip Brooks open. I mean, Philip was covered basically when he threw the ball. Yeah, does that take a long while? I think it's different for everyone, you know. But you're right. I mean, it's it's not as it's not as easy as the really good ones make it look, you know. And and he's he made it look easy last week, you know. And and uh, you know, I think again, it's a credit to all those guys. I mean, I think, you know, I think a big tale of last week was was how we played up front because those guys. Uh, Will got the ball out of his hand. It was a cl guys got open. It was a collective effort, but I mean they they really locked him down up front and gave him time and, and the ability to push it down the field. And then uh, you know he, he our receivers and QBs have really worked hard, um, you know, in getting on the same page. So it's been fun to capitalize on that work. Outstanding, outstanding. I mean, I thought. <clears throat> you know, I think, uh, shoot, I mean, every unit I think we, we've improved as the season is gone. Not that it's been perfect at any at any phase, but, uh, you know, being wa just watching how that group has continued to work together, improve, um, and gel has been, it, it's been really good. What was that conversation like with Will and Adrian last week when you're, you know, 10 minutes before the game, you still don't know who technically is going to play at that point? Uh, you know, it was it was a it was a heck of a deal, you know, because it was it was one of those things that, you know, we wanted those guys, you know, whoever it was going to be, to make sure that they were confident and in attack mode and, and ready to go, you know, and and uh, I think the selflessness of both of those guys um, in that moment was was off the chart, you know, and understanding that it's what's you know what was best for the team, and with that in both of their mind, you know, Will to Adrian going, hey. Don't be, I mean, he looks at him and, you know, hey, don't be thinking about me in this decision, you know, and, and you know, it's about whatever the team needs and Adrian's thinking about the team. And it, I don't know, it was, it, it was, uh, like I said, it was an amazing deal and a credit to both their character. Have you felt the running game kind of loosen up for you guys since the passing mm -hmm. game's kind of taken some steps forward? Yeah, I, I think, you know, uh, uh, I think we're continuing to evolve in some areas, um, you know, that's given us some, uh, some pretty good angles and things. So um, I think it's a it's a little bit of everything, you know, that, that helps make everything go. I think the the biggest thing last week, I think, was able to be able to sustain drives and give ourselves more chances. And, and it was, we said it was going to be critical and we needed some fourth downs to, to get it done at times, but uh, we were able to do it, you know, and then, then all of a sudden you're able to get in a little bit more of a rhythm. You're able to get some more formations out there early and see how they're lining up and then kind of be able to take it where we need to go. So it was, you know, it was uh, it's a game of inches. We were able to find them early and kind of get things going. 
What does the Texas defense do really well? <clears throat> you know, um, uh, talented group, obviously. Uh, you know, they have great length um, across the board. Uh, they do a really good job inside of, of uh, not giving up movement and plugging gaps. Um, you know, their secondary is physical. I mean, they'll get their hands on you and, uh, uh, you know, and, and be physical with you. So it's going to be, uh, it's going to be a physical ball game, you know, at all, all three levels. Um, you know, they do a good job schematically and know uh, where, where you're going to try to attack and, and, and go at them. So it's, it's going to be a big challenge for us. Can you gauge do Spawn's level of understanding of blocking angles, what his responsibilities are in finding those angles, and what the defense is doing on any particular play? It is. It's off the chart. I mean, he knows. <clears throat> you know, there's, a one, there's one play we ended up throwing it to the tight end quickly, but you know he's got a fake responsibility and pass protection responsibility, and he knew that interior pressure was coming probably even before the ball was snapped. And being able to get up in there and, and take that backer head on in the hole was just things like that. He's got great instincts. He studies the game, um, understands, as, as you've said, I mean, just leverage and angles. And uh, I mean, he's one of the best football players I've ever been around, you know, top, top to bottom. Explained the improvement of the offensive line and the way they played last week. Can you f further elaborate on what improvement you've seen from the wide receivers over the last couple of weeks? You know, I, I think uh, you know it's uh, they've attacked the ball when it's been in the air. Um, you know, and finished plays. You know, even you know Philip and, and the tight end do a great job of prying him open, and then you know, but that that's a t that's a tough catch when you're running, having to turn around and then secure it going down to the ground with a guy on you. You know, th those are. Those are big time plays, you know, and, and finishing catches, finishing plays. Uh, they always, you know, bust their butts in the run game and, and uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, uh, high effort in, in the, you know, in the blocking stuff. But um, I think just being on the same page with the QBs and, and uh, you know, knowing and understanding how to get open and then finish in place, you know, and that's, it's throwing and catching, it's protecting, you know, it's having all three of those phases be, be in sync. Sonic K State. Now he's a starter. How would you summarize his journey? Again, he's he's had to work and he's earned everything he's you know everything he's received, and it hasn't been by accident. Um, you know he's a team guy. Uh, you know as so many of our guys are, and and uh, you know has just a tremendous work ethic. You know and has improved and uh, and and has made himself and, and grown into the player that he is now. And and uh, again, watching that group, just how they. Uh, they're just so fun to practice with, you know, even every day. I mean, you go out to the practice field and, and they're always smiling. They're always joking around with each other or us. And, and it's, a, it's a great group. How seamlessly has, how seamlessly has Gillum transitioned from that role with Noah Johnson last year into this season? Yeah, I mean, those were big shoes to fill, you know, not just from a, a playing standpoint, but from a leadership standpoint and a, and a continuity standpoint. And, uh, you know, I, I think he's definitely uh, grown into that as the years gone as the years gone on, and, and done a fantastic job. What are your thoughts on playing two quarterbacks if both those guys are healthy? I mean, not really opposed to it. I think I think the biggest thing is is just making sure that that we're still playing well offensively. You know, that's that's the first goal is we gotta, you know, move. You know, we gotta be moving the ball and scoring points. You know, I don't want to, uh, you know, like. Uh, you know, I don't want to use two for five or ten plays. You know what I mean? In, in Will's current situation, and and do, and do that to him with what we've done, and, and tried to protect for him with his red shirt. But um, you know, again, at the end of the day, it's it's the team success that is the most important. Is health or awesome. game plan the number one characteristic that makes the decision? You're saying health or game plan between the quarterbacks. Um, I don't know if it's just one, you know, I think it's going to be, um, uh, you know, it's probably somewhere in the middle, you know, and, and uh, we'll take it as it comes.